Hello, great nice. How are you? Uh, Mr. New Lab is here again. Um, today we are going to continue what we we're doing yesterday. Okay, we are still dealing with Pythagoras theorem. Uh, this is the second lesson. If you've not watched the first one and you did not come to school today, make sure you watch the first one. Okay, before you watch this. Now, let's look at this activity. This was the homework I gave you in the previous video. Uh, let's do correction for this one. Correction. Okay. Uh, this is a Pythagoras theorem and they are asking us to find Z, to find the value of Z and leave our answer in a sad form. Uh, I explained sad form in the classroom. Um, if the normal under the square root sign is not a perfect square, when the normal under the square root is not a perfect square, it means that is in a sad form. Okay, if the normal under the square root is a perfect square, it's not a sad. For instance, square root of 4, 4 is a perfect square. So square root of 4 is going to give you 2. It's a whole number. A sad must give you a decimal. A decimal number. All right. Good. Let's look at this. They are telling us to find the value of Z. How do you find the value of Z? First, let's look at the right angle. What is right angle? An angle that is equals to 90 degrees. So you check the angle here. Normally, this is how they indicate the angle 90 degrees. This angle is what? 90 degrees so you consider it then you draw a line you see that it's facing this if i draw a line to this this is opposite to this all right it's opposite to the hypotenuse that's the first thing you need to indicate so you draw an arrow here indicating that this 90 degrees is facing the hypotenuse so Pythagoras is saying that the hypotenuse must come first. Let's start with it. So 6 squared should be equal to z squared plus 3 squared. Okay. Now, 6 squared, when you press on the calculator, let me show you how to do it. When you press this on the calculator, 6 squared... How do you press it? 6 squared. Instead of, you can also use this, but this one is easier. 6 squared. Have you seen? Equal to what? 36. You have your 36 there. Equal to. Remember, we're having z squared. So I've written the z squared again. Plus 3 squared. It's going to give us 9. How did you get it? So, 3, instead of using this, you use this one, squared. Anytime you want square. So, 3 squared. 3 squared give us what? 9. Okay. Now, we are going to transpose. This is plus 9. If I transpose, it's going to give me minus 9. We still have the z squared at the right hand side. Then 36 minus 9 is going to give us 27. And we take a square root. It's because we want to remove this square. So we do what? We take a square root of both sides. So square root of 27, square root of z squared. 
So square root of 27 is going to give me 3 root 3 is equals to what z. Okay, let's continue. Then the next question is determine the value of x. Leave your answer in a sad form. So we have this triangle. You see that we have the hypotenuse. We have one side. But this side is not given. How do you determine it? Remember, if this side is 90, and this side is 45. What will be this side? Also 45. Because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180. So if you add everything, you must get 180. This is 90. 90 plus 90 is what? 180. So it means these two angles must be 90. This is 45. It means here is going to be 45 because... 45 plus 45 is 90. Are we together? So here K is going to be 45. Good. We talked about angle opposite equals side. Well, we're dealing with Euclidean uh, geometry, né? and we are still in geometry. Uh, this one is an aspect pythagoras okay so we apply what we learned we know that when the two angles are equal it means the side must also be equal when the base angle are equal the size must also be equal so this side is 45 this side is 45 so it means if this side is x, this side is also going to be x. All right. So k is 45. Angle opposite equals side. Then uh, this one, angles in a triangle is equals to 180. So I'll, let me just write angles in a triangle in a triangle i want yeah let me just get triangle i need a triangle shapes okay i have a triangle here angles in a triangle no, I don't like this one. Okay. We can get a triangle somewhere. Yeah, this. Okay. Let me get it again. Angles in a triangle. This is good. This is better. So angles in a triangle we know is equals to 180. Né? So this reason we can also say sum of angles in a triangle. We are all correct. Angles in a triangle sum up to 180. Okay, so here our JH is equals to X. We are now going to use Pythagoras. Where is our hypotenuse? This is 90 degrees. So if I draw a line, the 90 degrees faces this one. So this is my hypotenuse. So kh squared should be equal to kj squared plus jh squared. Let's substitute the value. You see that k kh is equal to 10 squared then kj is equals to x squared plus we said jh is also equals to x so this side is also equals to x 
these are like terms we can edit 10 squared these are like terms we can edit 10 squared is what 100 then x squared plus x squared is going to give us 2x squared we divide both sides by 2 this gives us 50 we want to remove this x squared this square so we take a square root of both sides this is going to give us 5 root 2 because square root of 50 let's check Five root two, so x is equals to five root two. Okay, let's look at the next question. Calculate the following using the figure below. The length AD, length AD. This is a right angle triangle because we have this square here. All right, so. What is Pythagoras saying? He said, we must look for the hypotenuse. Where is the hypotenuse? There's the hypotenuse. Because the right angle faces the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse, AD. So AD squared should be equal to AB squared plus DB squared. AD squared should be equal to AB squared plus BD squared. So that's what I've written here. But we know, we don't know AD. That is what we are finding. All right. So AD squared should be equal to we need to substitute a b what is a b a b is equals to eight so you write your eight plus d b is also equals to eight you write your eight so eight squared plus eight squared is going to give us 128 Let's press it straight. 8 squared plus 8 squared. 128. We want to remove the square. So what do you do? You take a square root of both sides. If I take a square root of this side, it will remove this square. So you have AD. If I take a square root of this side, I will still have square root of 128. I have it. So I'm going to use the calculator because they said we should leave it in the sad form. So we need to simplify what is in the square root sign. So 128 is equals to 8 root 2. 8 root 2. So we are done with AD. Let's look at the next question. Determine the length of CD. Leave your answer in a sad form. They want us to find CD. But if you check, we have a bigger triangle here. This is 90 degrees. This faces AC. Nine, the 90 degrees angle faces AC. So this is the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras is saying CA squared should be equal to CB squared plus AB squared. Now, what are we going to do? CA is 15 squared. It should be equal to CB. We don't know. Plus AB is what? 8 squared. So 15 squared is going to give us 225. Go, 
then eight squared. What are we going to get for eight squared? Sixty four. Transpose plus sixty four. You get minus. It's plus if you transpose, it's minus. We still have our CB. So 225 minus 64 is going to give us 61. Then what do we do? We take a square root of both sides. If I take a square root left and right, I'm going to get square root of 61. 161 centimeters. But the question is looking for DB, not CB. Right, the question is looking for CD here, not DB, CD, this one. All right, not CB. It's looking for CD, not C. The question is looking for CD, not DB, or not CB. So let's see. we we know that cd plus db is equals to cb how cd plus db is equals to the whole of this length c b let me repeat cd plus db is equals to c b now what is CD? We don't know. What is DB? We know it. DB is given to us as 8 centimeters. It's given to us as 8 centimeters. So, and we also know CB to be square root of 161. CB. Then transpose this plus 8 to this side is going to be minus 8. Then square root of 161 minus 8. What is it going to give us? Is going to give us six four comma uh, four comma seven but is the question asking us to leave it in a sad form yes so we need to leave it in the sad form see what we are going to do if I press this that's what I'm gonna have so that's what I must write in a sad form. All right. So I'm going to write it this way. Instead of writing 4,7, which is also the same answer, but the question is demanding or the question is looking for a sad. So we are trying to write it in a sad form. So, 161. Good. So, let me write a 161. Even the first one, this is even fine. You can even leave this one. It's fine. It's the same. So, we've left it in a sad form. At least. Okay. We are going to say bye-bye. I wish you all the best. Do the homework that I gave to you in class. Submit it today. I need it today. I need to mark it. Bye.